Okay, welcome back guys to another video from CXC Math Tutor. This time we were looking at the January 2019 past paper, question number six. All right, that's question number six from the January 2019 past paper. All right, so the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows an open um, cylindrical container made of, made of metal with a circular base and uniform thickness draw out. All right. The length of the container from the top to the bottom is 120 centimeter and the inner and outer radii are 14 centimeter and 15 centimeter respectively. We're giving pi to be 22 over seven and this is your um, cylindrical container here. All right. So let's um, move on to part one here. So draw a cross-sectional view of the container um, showing the measurements of the inner and outer radii. All right, so you simply just going to draw what you see here. So you have a large uh, circle, the larger circle is on the outside, of course, and the smaller circle is on the inside there. And, um, we are told that they, the, both of them share the same center, of course. And the smaller circle of a radius of 14 centimeter, a radius of 14 centimeter. I'm actually draw this a little bit bigger. All right. So you, can, you guys can see that. Um, let me also increase the percentage here, maybe to 150. That's better. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have the cross section here. A large circle and the smaller circle in the middle there. All right. And, and of course, both of them share the same center. And um, the smaller circle we're told is, uh, has a radii of 14 centimeter, a radius of 14 centimeter. Radii is plural, radius is single, all right? So the smaller circle has a radius of 14 centimeter and the larger circle has a radius of 15 centimeter. Okay, so that's, that's the cross section that you're drawing there. And of course, it's a thickness. This is the thickness that you're talking about. All right, this is draw out the entire um, container, even at the bottom too as well, as a thickness. All right, the bottom of the container here. All right, here is a thickness too as well. The same thickness, same length, same measurement. The thickness throughout the entire um, container. All right, and of course the thickness here. If this is fourteen centimeter and this is fifteen centimeter, then of course the thickness has to be one centimeter. All right, the thickness is one centimeter. All right, okay. And that's the thickness that they are talking about in the question here. Uniform thickness drew out, okay? One centimeter drew out. So this is um, one centimeter, all right? Down one centimeter and, and at the bottom is one centimeter, okay? Okay, so that's, this is the answer here for part one for, how many marks is that? So that's gonna be, Two marks just for that, just to draw the cross sectional view. All right, and just show the radii and the two radii. Okay, show that the capacity of the container is um, 7,000, sorry, 73,304 centimeter cube. All right, so I want to show that um, the capacity is that. So, when we talk about capacity, we're talking about the internal volume. We're talking about the volume, but in this case, we're talking about the internal volume, meaning the, the volume of the inner cylinder. That's the internal volume we're talking about, all right? And of course, the formula for the, the volume of a cylinder, all right? So the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r square. Right, the pi r square represents the, the area of the, the circle, 
because it's a circular cross section multiplied by the height. And that's the volume for any cylinder. All right? And we want to show that this volume here is actually equal to 73,304 centimeter cube. So using pi to be 22 over 7, and the radius, as I said before, this volume that you're referring to refers to the internal volume. All right, so we're going to use the internal radius, which was um, 14 centimeter. All right. It's given to us. And uh, this is 14 centimeter square multiplied by the height. All right, you have to be a little bit careful here. Um, we're talking about the internal volume, um, excluding this thickness here at the bottom. All right, and as I said before, the thickness at the bottom is one centimeter. The thickness here, due out, is one centimeter. So as you can see here, just looking at the, the cylinder here, you can see that there's a thickness at the bottom. So the internal volume actually stops here. Okay? So that's the internal volume here I'm drawing here. Okay, that's the internal volume with a radius of 14 centimeter. All right, so this thickness here, we have to, and, and remember the height, the height of the cylinder is from the top to the bottom. So we need to subtract this thickness here of one centimeter, all right, from the height. So this is gonna leave us with 119 centimeter since we're trying to calculate the internal volume, all right? So once we put this in our calculator, we have now, 22 over 7 multiplied by 14 square, which is 196, multiplied by 119. So let's put this all of this on the calculator. So you can take 22, multiplied by 196, multiplied by 119. And right, that's going to give you 513,128 divided by 7. All right, so it's going to give you 73,304 centimeter cube. Exactly what we have here. All right, so this is our answer. We're trying to show that this volume, this internal volume, which is represents by the internal cylinder of, of this entire shape here, is 73,304 centimeter, and we, centimeter cube, and we, um, we show that. All right? Okay, let's move on. The, the trick to part of the, to this question is really to make sure that you subtract this um, thickness at the bottom here. This one centimeter, I'm actually draw it up here. And this one centimeter thickness here that needs to be subtracted. All right, from the height. All right, so the, the entire height is from here to the ground here to the, to the bottom here and from the, from the top to the bottom, and therefore you have to subtract this one centimeter here from this 120 to make it 119. So we want to calculate the, the height has to be from the top to right here, stop there, okay? That's, that's supposed to be the height. But what is given to us is 120 that represents the height from the top to the bottom, down here. Sorry, yeah, down there. Okay, right down to the bottom. And so we have to subtract um, that one centimeter thickness from the 120 that gives us 119. All right, so let's move on. So that's the answer for part B is that, show that the capacity of the container is 73,304 centimeter cube. And determine the volume of the material used. Determine the volume of the material used um, to make the container. All right. Okay. So let's go back to the question here. So this is our cylindrical shape here. So we're looking for the 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 total volume of material used 
to uh, make this um, container, all right? So we can actually now take the, the volume of the, the larger cylinder and subtract the volume of the inner cylinder. And the reason why we're subtracting the, the, the volume of the inner cylinder is because there's an hole here. This is an, actually an hole right here, right down to the bottom. So it's actually cut out, all right? So if you're calculating the material used to make this um, cylindrical um, shape here, then of course you have to subtract this volume here that represents this hole here, because this hole is not, it's an hole. So there's no material that, that was used to, to produce, that's how uh, to make that section of the, um, the cylinder. So you have to subtract that amount. All right, so let's, let's now um, take the volume of the, the largest um, cylinder, one on the outside here, all right? which we know as a radius of 15 centimeter. All right, so simply going to so find the material um, used, we're going to simply, um, so the material used is actually going to equal to the volume, let's call it the, the outer circle, let's call it volume one, all right? And the inner circle is subtract volume two. Okay, that's what we're doing here. So, um, volume one, the outer circle, the outer cylinder, will be pi r square times the height, and pi is 22 over seven, multiplied by the radius, which is 15 centimeter square, multiplied by the height is 120. So we're using the entire height now. We're not worrying about any thickness here because we're trying to find um, how much material is used to make the cylinder, the, the, the cylinder, all right? So we can use the entire height. So let's um, calculate this here. So be 22 over seven multiplied by 15 square, 15 times 15, 225. Multiply by 120. So let's put this in my calculator. 22 times 225 times 120. All right, it's going to give me 594,000 divided by 7, which is going to give me 84,857.14. All right. Um, of course, it's going to be centimeter cube, all right? So that's the 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 external volume there. And right? let's now look. Let's now calculate the the internal volume for the smaller um, cylinder, all right? Which we know is going to be pi r square again times the height. So pi is twenty two over seven times the radius, which is fourteen for the internal, all right? The square times the height, which is again, which is 120, okay? We're talking about the, the, um, the material used here, so we can also include that thickness as well, all right? So 22 over seven multiplied by 14 square, which is 196 times 120. So 196 times 22 times 120 which is 517,440 divided by seven. So it's gonna give me, um, let me write it over here, 73,920. All right, so if I subtract these two volumes here, all right, So the, the 84,000, so this is going to be volume one minus volume two. So the 84,857.14 minus 73,920. All right, on my calculator. eighty four thousand eight hundred and fifty seven point one four minus 
73,920. Right. Okay, did I make a mistake here? No. Uh, this is this is okay. I'm getting I'm getting ten thousand something. Um let's let me see here. This is fourteen square. One ninety six times one twenty times twenty two divided by seven. Oh, yeah, I did make a mistake. Sorry about that. I make a mistake here. This is supposed to be 119, which makes sense for the height. All right, for volume two, 119. Okay, so let's um, calculate this again. Um, so 196 times 119, which is the internal volume. As I said before, the height has to be up to up to here okay so we have to subtract that one centimeter there all right so bring it up to 119 so we have 22 times 196 times 119 all right which should be 513128 all right we divided all of that by seven which pretty much we're gonna to get to what we had before, the 73,304 centimeter cube, all right? All right, and so now we're gonna subtract these two. All right, which will, which will give us now, take 84,857.14, and you subtract the 73,304, and that's going to give you 11,553.14 centimeter cube. All right, so that's going to be the amount of material that is used to make this cylinder. Okay, it's the, pretty much the external cylinder, the volume of the external cylinder, subtract the volume of the internal cylinder. And remember, the volume of the internal cylinder represents the, the capacity. Um, meaning that how much stuff you can put inside of that cylinder. All right, that's what we mean by the, the capacity. All right, okay. And of course, the material I use, you're talking about for the entire cylindrical shape here. All right, and here, the internal capacity stops here. Stops right there. But as you already know, that there's a, a one centimeter thickness at the bottom there. So we have to subtract that here in order for us to get our correct height for the internal um, cylinder, okay? Okay, so let's continue. So this will be the answer, uh, 11,553.14 centimeter cube. All right. All right, so let's continue with this. Part C, uh, part D, is that part D? Let's make sure you are, yeah. Part C is what we calculated there. So this is the answer for part C, okay. And now let's now look at part D. Okay, given that the density of the material used to make the container is 22, uh, is 2.2 grams per centimeter cube, determine the mass in um, kilogram of the empty container. All right, so um, density, of course, is given as the mass divided by the volume. All right, and of course, this mass here is actually in grams and they wanted to determine the mass in kilograms, all right? 
So, um, so given that the density of the material used, the material used, so that's, that's, this is the volume that you'll be using here, all right? Um, to make the container is this, all right? So we can make a substitution in our formula here for the density. The density that is given to us is 2.2, 2.2, 2, all right? That's the density is equal to the, let me actually write it the formula, even though it's there, let me just actually write it again. So density is equal to the mass, the mass divided by the volume, all right? So we're just making a substitution here. We're giving the density, which is 2.2. We know what the volume is. The volume used was 11,553.14. So what we don't know is a mass. That's what we're trying to find, determine the mass in kilograms, all right? So we're gonna substitute this 11,553.14, uh, all right, 11,553.14. So we just replace a D that represents a density that is given to us in grams per um, centimeter cube. And that's equal to the mass. It's a formula right here. The mass divided by the volume, which this volume represents the, the material used. All right, so if we simply cross multiply here, M is now equal to 2.2 multiplied by the 11,553.14. So using my calculator, I get um, 25,416.908, okay? So that is, the, that is the mass in grams. That's the mass in grams, all right? But we want to find the, the mass in kilograms. That's what they said, determine the mass in kilograms. But we know that one kilogram right, is equal to 1,000 grams, okay? So we can simply just divide this here, this 25,416.908 by um, 1,000 to get the the answer in kilograms. Okay, so this is a conversion here. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Okay, so we take 25,416.908 divided by 1,000. And it's going to give us 25.416. Um, um, all right, uh, 25.4. Maybe 20, two decimal places, fine. 25.42 right? um, kilograms. Okay. So let me, let me just um, do this quickly again. Um, I know that the video is very long. This is, not, this, this is not the amount of time that you will take in the exam, obviously. I'm taking my time just to explain in detail. I don't want to rush. I want you guys to understand. That's the whole purpose of all of these videos, all right? So we have the density that's given to us. The density, density formula that is given to us there. Density is, is equal to mass divided by the volume. That's something that you should know, all right? And we're given a density, which is... 2.2, so we just simply replace this D here that represents the density, 2.2, that's equal to the mass, that's what, that's, what, that's what we are trying to find, divided by the volume, uh, which represents the material used. Right, we simply cross multiply here, all right? And so M is equal to, if we take the 2.2 multiplied by 11,553.14, that's gonna give us um, the mass in grams because this density here is given as 2.2 grams per centimeter cube, all right? So, but the question one is to find the, the mass in kilograms, all right? And you should know that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, all right? And so now we just take this 25,416.908 and divide by 1,000 to get your answer in kilograms, which is 25.42 kilograms. And this is your final answer, okay?
Okay, um, is that it for question number six? That's two marks for that. Question there, part D. All right, nine marks in total. All right, so that's it for question number six. We'll continue with this um, past paper. All right, uh, moving on to question number seven and so forth. All right, so again, thanks for your support and please continue to, continue to support by subscribing to the channel or share the video with your friends and so forth. All right, so yeah, just click the subscription button and that's it. And of course, remember, practice, practice, practice. All right, even when you think you know the topic, keep practicing, all right? It doesn't hurt to um, do a few more questions on the topic that you already know. And practice, 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 all right? Okay then, good luck and thanks again.